Hello, spirit. Hello, spirit. <laughs> well, hello, spirit too. Yeah. Hello, Virgo. I hope you're all feeling well. You're all doing well. This is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone. Please take what resonates and leave the rest alone. If it doesn't, look at your moon and rising sign for greater clarity. Take action. You can see her dancing and prancing forward there. Beautiful card. Ready to move forward and launch yourself forward. Ease and grace. It's about being in a beautiful place of ease and grace. This is a place of acceptance, I always feel. And life always flows easier if we accept where we are, is where we're meant to be. Beautiful ease and grace. And just going with the flow here. Take a step back. So we'll see what this is. If this doesn't resonate with this reading, there is a playlist on my channel that you might want to look at with messages there. We'll see what the tarot's got to say here. So there's something we need to take a step back from here if we want to feel at peace with ourselves here. So we'll see what we need to do here. The strength card, Leo energy. Seven of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. The beautiful Ace of Cups. The overall central energy is the Three of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. The beautiful Temperance card. The Five of Swords. And the Two of Swords. So what we've got here is we've got a decision that we're putting off, a decision that needs to be made. We need to start to take some action here. So it can be that we're not making this decision because we don't know how everything's going to pan out. It's not your job to know how it's going to pan out. There's nobody got that kind of control over life. We don't know every step of the, how life's going to unfold every second of a day. But there can be a fear factor attached to that. So you need to take time out now to take some action and make a decision about how you're going to go forward. It can also be that you might have to gather more information as well. So if that's the case, that's fair enough. But you need to make this decision at some point, Virgo. Uh, now, we can take a step back from the point of view that we might want to take time out. So if they're saying take a step back from things, you might want to tune in with your intuition when you're always making a decision here. So listen to your gut feeling. Come away from whatever it is that's causing this that you're having to. Because what we've got here is we've got the five. This decision is going to make changes. Five's a change for me. And it's going to feel like a bittersweet victory here. But there's something you need to step back from. You need to make a decision about. And you need to, it's going to feel like you've, there's a sense of loss. So it's like winning the battle, but not the war. But it's going to put you into a beautiful place of ease and grace. It's going to bring great balance and harmony back to your life. So whatever this is, it could be within your work life, your relationships, your finances, or your environments of any kind. This decision's going to have to be made to cut your losses somewhere along the line. And you're going to feel as if you're leaving something behind that you would rather take with you here. So a winning the battle, not the war, a bittersweet victory. So that can be the fear factor in making this decision. But what Spirit's saying is, you need to do it. So you need to take a step back from a situation here and cut your losses. Uh, because this is the only thing that's going to bring great harmony back into your environment. It's going to move you forward to brand new opportunities for happiness as well. You can see the cups balancing out. Spirit is wanting a brand new opportunity for you and happiness. So peace, you can see this. It puts you into a place of happiness where there's ease and grace in your life again. So it's time to take action, most definitely, and take up new opportunities for happiness here. Now, this was brand new beginnings. It's a holy grail. There's your dove of peace there. Dove of peace is above there. So brand new happiness will come into your life once you make this decision and harmony will come back into your life. Now, it's about being strong and taking this action. You've got your Leo card on your action card here. Now, strength isn't just about simply saying I'm being courageous here. She's very confident. She's putting her head, her, her hand in the lion's mouth. And the reason she's confident is because she's recognised everything that she's been through and she's survived it and she's got gained strength. It's given her the confidence to move on. So she's recognising her own strength. And that's important, what she's survived up till now. And this is what gives you the confidence to go forward. So strength and courage, it's time to take action now. And it's time to move towards things that we're passionate about that are going to make us happy. Now, once we make this decision and we cut our losses, there's going to be movement in our life that's going to move us towards growth and happiness. 
Wands are about growth. They're about creating things that where you're going to be inspired and that are good for you. So this is a very fast moving night. So once this decision's made and this change comes in, you're going to move very forward very, very quickly. Now, this here is, is about investing your time and having the patience. So whatever it is you're going towards here, and like I say, it could be anything to do with your finances, your relationships, your work and your environment. It's going to be, you're going to have to be patient here to nurture these situations and it's going to bring growth back. And you're going to be happy because you're investing your time and energies into something that you know will flourish for you and that you're inspired to be investing in. So this could be growing a relationship. It could be grow, learning new skills. It could be developing skills. It could be investing your money into a home and watching it grow, building a home. Whatever this is for you, it's about having the patience. And when you have the patience, your skills will be rewarded. Your efforts will be rewarded here because this is about your skills, recognising your skills here. His skills, uh, he's very good at what he does on a daily basis. So whatever you're investing in, you're doing it the right way. You're looking at the details here. You're focused and you're getting your head down. Now, this could also be uh, growing. Uh, there could be a mentor that comes into your life to help you develop your skills. Uh, and that could bring, if you're wanting promotion, uh, if that's what's inspiring you here, um, it could be that sort of thing. It could be taking your skills elsewhere and developing them as well. So recognising what your skills are and, and investing. And through focusing on the detail and getting your head down, there will be growth that will come in and your efforts will be rewarded here. And what's going to happen is you're going to want to celebrate this. There's invitations could come forward as well for you as well. Now, this could be somebody who's passionate coming forward towards you that finds you attractive. Um, and there's a new opportunity for love here. So this wands are Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Um, this could be Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy, but it's somebody coming forward that sees you as attractive for a new love opportunity. So they could be inviting you out on a date. Or if it's not that, it could be there's an invitation coming forward soon. That's, you're going to want to celebrate and you're going to go out and have some fun. So this, this choice that you're making, this bittersweet victory that you're taking on here, that you're accepting, you're going forward, is going to bring celebratory energy into your life. It's going to bring brand new beginnings and happiness. And you're going to go forward and you're going to find life far more easier, far more easier. You're going to be enjoying what you're investing in here. Because, and you're going to see the growth because you're inspired to do these things. So beautiful energies. It's that bittersweet victory that's going to have to come first here. Taking the step back, making the decision, stepping back from anything that is uh, not working for you here and going towards happier times. Signs. Your past loved ones are never far from you. Notice the signs they send you. Now, repeating music, leaves, feathers, master numbers, 22, 33, 44, all things that should be looked up because it's spirit trying to give you an extra message here. They're supporting these changes because if you look here, it's spirit that's wanting this for you. They're handing you this. They're saying this is time for new times for happiness and peace in your life. We all deserve to be happy. Clearing. Remove energy blockers by clearing out unwanted emotions or material clutter. We have to make that choice now. We have to cut our losses here and move on. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.